Have you seen the demonstration that has been done here? Have you listened how God spoke now? When you have listened to it, you will be thinking that our mother has been speaking to the leaders of this church. It is as if she was telling them as you are commencing this word, this is what the Lord is saying. Brother, hold on to this. This message is for all of us. You and you. You are the you are part of this army that is being raised now. You are a, you are part of this army that God is raising now. We are not talking to these two only. Isn't it that you have thrown water as well? And you are pouring in another vessel. It is in the wake of the Lord. He has spoken to you. He has spoken to me. He is speaking to all of us. As we are gathered together here. It is a peculiar way. That has been honored and loved by the Lord. So that you may come and listen. And after that we carry out the instructions. As we are going to go out of here. Let us all go and do what the Lord has said. As He's speaking like this, each one of us is going to stand on their feet in their respective places or positions. Hallelujah. As God was speaking to me while I was praying, He revealed this matter. At first he spoke to me I also shared to my husband And I said God is now saying to me I am the Lord I am the first and the last He says nothing, There is nothing that I can fail on it was as if I did not understand while I was listening to these boys. And he now demonstrated while he was proceeding, saying that I am God. And he's saying that this thing that you're looking at. It, this thing that I've made it to face down, it will never look. I, I tell things so that they can face my direction and according to my way because I am God. And when you're looking at something as if it's way far in like this, and all people believe in that this thing is so far we can see. Because I am the Alpha and the Omega. There is no situation that can come. Everything is possible. For I am God. And we passed there. And now he revealed unto me the word that we have just read in the book of Revelation. While I was meditating on this word, and I went on to sleep, and he started to speak to me again. And what I saw there, <laughs> were in a certain place, and many of those people were there, I knew them. One thing that I noticed there, people were so busy. There was nobody who was idling. Everybody was toiling, going up and down. 
You know, all of us were as if they were building houses and they were busy, but couldn't complete what they were doing. Everybody was busy on their world. And God started to speak to me again. This is how you are now. The way you are so busy. Is I so desired. There will be somebody who can listen and obey me and do as I say. As you are going to come together in Canton Park. Go and tell them that I am the Lord. But now. As God wants to start a new thing in this fashion. And raising this army of his. You know, it's so clear that the glory that is going to be revealed is some glory that is unusual. For the word of God has promised us that it's going to take us from glory to glory. As we can see how much heaven is multiplying the earth that you are dwelling in. So it shall be even in his glory and also his power, great power, and he wants to reveal himself, and there is nobody he can reveal himself with, it is you and I, it's you and I. And when he's saying that people who are getting saved should multiply, it is your job and my job. If it doesn't happen, I need to go back and look where did we go wrong. But now, here is God promising. As his word is, has promised us that he's taking us from glory to glory, it means that things that are bound to happen now they are obligated to reveal the power of God. But if we are to see that power and the workings of God that is so powerful, this is what is required. You know, as God has spoken in this manner, when I get out of here, I cannot just go and relax. You know, if we are not going to obey his word or do what he has said, we'll be like those people that Paul is talking about saying that you've got a form of religion but you have denied the power of godliness thereof. It is the reason when God's that God is saying that I'm seeing death, but He's saying now arise. This is what is supposed to happen. If we are prepared to see the glory of God and His great power. We must listen to what he's saying and obey his word. When we look at the word of God in the book of Exodus, we are looking unto the children of Israel. The word of God says that God. He has given them an instructions that they need to go back. Now, 
He's saying that when you go up like this, the armies of Pharaoh will think that there is a confusion amongst you. You know, while they are thinking that you are confused, I will hammer and Pharaoh's heart. When I hammer in his heart, I will be making him that they come out from where they are staying and follow you. You know, as I'm going to make them to follow you, I'll be gaining glory through them. And they did just that. And Moses was giving them instruction and they were taking orders. He was speaking now and they were carrying out those orders there and then. Amen. Amen. And the woman of the Uguti, we are Kuluma Manje, Besuba Kulu Dilea Tizen, Uguti Shamba, Minangasha, and Wenzel, and Minyan Bilezai, owns a wedding assist card. And if he speaks now and you delay, saying that maybe I'm going to do it in the next two years or maybe some other time, that is disobedience before God. And you know, if he is going to talk or maybe to give me an instruction and then I carry out those orders immediately, his great power will be revealed. Amen. And a lot of people are going to witness him. And now God, I've seen him in Abraham. I was speaking some characters in the word of God. You know, he was going to speak only but once, no matter how painful it might be. You know, sometimes the will of God will be contrary to my will, but however, when I see that this is the will of God, I will lay on to it and do it. You know, as we are sitting here, each one of you can testify that I have heard God saying this and that, but I delayed in doing whatever He wanted me to do. As I'm delaying, I'm holding back the papers of God. Remember that God is so punctual, He's always on time. You know, as he's speaking like this, his power has already been poured out so that people in the world can see God. But we need a person who is going to listen and obey God. Who is going to listen to him now and obey him now. Without saying that I am going to do it tomorrow. When we read the word of God, he said unto Abraham, Take your son, the, your only son, and go and sacrifice him unto me. He never asked from the flesh and blood. I think that it was so painful. But deep down within him, he believed that God. Who is God? He is going to provide for himself. And he did it right there. And up until today, we know that there is provision in the mountain of the Lord. 
When we look unto the issue of the children of Israel, where they're bound to cross over the Red Sea, it was lying upon them, listening unto Moses when he told them to go forward. I like so much verse 15 in chapter 14 where we have read. The word of God says, Why are you crying? When the situation allows, or maybe doesn't allow you, the situation allows you, even when it doesn't allow you, because he has never changed, he is forever God. Is the Alpha and the Omega. Oh, we took bomb his name. For us is to lay hold of his word. It is a tempest of Zakat. And his promises. Get out! And we go and preach 